All right, hey, Shalom Akiam. First and foremost, I need to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, and we are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Sumo Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. And according to the Holy Scriptures, we're God chosen people. Shalom to all the beloved brethren out there pushing his knowledge and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters and shalom to Israelite foreigners who are scattered abroad. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one they called Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one they called God, one they called Jehovah, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. When you call upon the Most High and His Son, you must say Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh means He to be, or He is. Bahashem means in the name. And Yahweh Shai means he delivers. Giving all praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai for another blessed day. And the Wadi Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai for giving me this opportunity. The Wadi Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai for, for the apostles and elders and all you beloved brethren that's teaching the right doctrine, that's standing your ground in faith. Coming back at you another lesson through the Holy Spirit. And man, oh man, you know, hopefully I won't get hit with a um, copyright claim whatever we just use these videos for edification's sake and cipher everything through the scriptures and, and and everything we've been saying is coming to pass and these are the things that the prophets and the most side we concentrate on man this this topic is going to be the condition of the earth man the real men of the lord we, we're dealing with the serious topics of, of course you got certain things that come up we have to deal with but our mind is on what's, what's what really matters man all right excuse the background noise let me uh run up my window because if you read the scriptures, man, this earth was created for our sakes. Let me uh pull that up real quick. Let me pause this. Now here it is. This is uh second Ezra chapter six, verse um fifty-four. So um uh the prophet Ezra is having the discourse with one of the angelic uh angels, and he was breaking certain things down to him because he had a lot of questions. So here this is second Ezra six and um fifty-four. And after these, Adam also whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures of him come we all and the people also whom thou hast chosen who are the who are the chosen people the israelites people of uh, negro latino native americans and similar descent you got israelite foreigners scattered throughout the four corners of the earth all right whose lineage goes back to abraham isaac and jacob all this have i spoken before thee o lord because thou madest the world for our sakes this planet this planet was made for our sakes, the Israelites. And um, it says, As for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing but like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. And that's the other nations. The other nations, the most I say, are likened unto spittle. All right, now here's the point. Ver jump down to verse 59. It says, If the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? For for hey, the, the, that is about to be over, man. It's about to yo, because right now the wicked is ruling the earth, and everything is languishing and everything is dying. Peep this. It was mind blowing. Um, you can see all these concentric rings. It's been likened to sort of God's thumbprint in some uh, <laughs> in some sort of corners of the internet. So there's lots and lots of things all have to be uh, happening at once. It's sort of this high set of unlikely chances have to line up. Wildlife experts say the world is losing animals at an alarming rate. The World Wildlife Fund looked at the data on more than 5,000 animal species between 1970 and 2018 and found populations on average dropped by 69 percent. Latin America saw some of the largest losses, including so much of the Amazon rainforest that the WWF now says it's nearly non-functional. Researchers say right now one million animal and plant species face extinction. Hundreds of pilot whales have become stranded in New Zealand. Approximately 500 of them have beached themselves on the remote Chatham Islands off the coast of the South Island. 
Well, Gab, it's happened over two separate events uh, last Friday and again this, follow, uh, this Monday that just passed. But essentially what's happened is that 500 pilot whales have become stranded uh, on separate incidents, as I say, on the Friday and the Monday, around 230 on the Friday and then a further 245 on the Monday. Now, we know that pilot whales become uh, beached or become stranded quite often. What we don't know is why. So a number of people are researching the incident just last month in Tasmania around 230 pilot whales became stranded off Tasmania's west coast uh, and again 200 of those died to the day two years ago on that same island in Tasmania uh, 470 pilot whales became stranded so it's quite an issue and we've got an eye on Earth and an alarming update from the U.S. Drought Monitor. According to a new report, 55% of the country is experiencing drought conditions. The drought has been spreading since the beginning of September and now covers more of the nation than it has since April. More than 133 million people live in drought areas, which is the highest number since 2016. The Mississippi River is experiencing critically low water levels, so are many of its, like the Illinois, Ohio, and Missouri rivers. Earth's wildlife populations are in crisis. The Living Planet Report, tracking a selection of global vertebrate numbers, has recorded staggering losses. And oh my goodness. Population sizes declined by 69% on average in just 50 years. Right. So, so you know, pretty much, the Mosai is getting ready to destroy this motherfucker. You see, the, and, and, and you could finish watching this video on your own to get an idea where I'm going with this, man. Because everything we're saying is true. If this this man don't get taken out of power, the earth, life itself, would not exist, man. Like we just some crazy motherfuckers is out there in the corners. Ah, you you jackasses. Which Esau is getting taken out of power, man. He has, he does he has but a short time. So everything that's going on in the world and this planet is recorded in the Bible. Okay? So Ezra's had them same questions. So now everything has come to the forefront. Everything is coming to a, a, a what you say uh to, to an end. And the brother Ezra's is back in one of these camps, man. You see? Because wickedness had to rule first. Like uh, the, the, uh, our beloved elder that passed away is a, is a great education, man. And man, hell nah, man. Baba Kushaw, Yahweh by Shimei, I was shy. You know what? For the elect's sake, time. For the elect's sake. That's why time is speeding up, man. All right? Hold on. It's in Matthew somewhere. That's why time is speeding up. There it is, Matthew 24 and 22. I gotta remember this little world, man. It says, Except those days shall be shortened, they shall no flesh be saved. No flesh. No flesh. It's right there in, in that, that, that video. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Because the elect is, yo, and they trying to pass, a, um, they trying to stop the whole freedom of speech, brothers, passed around that article. I'm like, that's a good thing. That means the elect is sealed up. You know, so the Lord can do his do his fucking mighty work on you Edomites and destroy two-thirds of our people. You gotta fucking go and set up righteousness in the earth, man. See, in the kingdom of heaven, you people have no ideas. It's, it's gonna be a new rulership, a new management upon the earth. Starting over with our Lord and Savior, the Messiah, the one ignorant called Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai, who's a so-called black man, that you have his joint ears with him. The 144,000. That's going to be the new management over the earth. And the law, statute, commandments will be implemented, man. This is the effects of the commandments not being implemented on the earth. Through, through wickedness, man. Everybody's fucked up. The air is fucked up. The water is fucked up. The food we eat is fucked up. I'm surprised we're still breathing. But through the grace of the Most High, we're still living. Because this devil is going to get, he's going to get trampled, man. Uh, Isaiah 24 and 3, this says, The land shall be utterly empty. I'm sorry. Start at verse 4. The earth mourned and faded away. 
the world languishes and faded away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. So every everything on this planet is feeling the effects of the Edomites ruling this planet. I don't give a fuck what you're talking about, man. Yes, the most size racist. I just read it to you. Of the other people that came from Adam, there are nothing. Okay? So this is the process that we have to get go through. Teaches a valuable lesson of the importance of keeping the commandments in the earth. And the, and the true people will be ruling the earth. Okay, the scriptures say if, the, if, if, the, if those people in the land are the true Jews, why is the earth fucked up, man? Like, these are the things you got to put in. Because you people don't read your freaking Bibles, man. But the elect will, you know. Okay. So the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Why? Why? Because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinances, broken the everlasting covenant. Esau do not keep the laws it's 613 laws. Esau don't keep none of them on this planet. He's turned things upside down to make you believe that he is God. He's a, he's a he's nobody. He's the basis of men. The Heavenly Father put it, sit on top so prophecy can be fulfilled. Right in the scriptures, man. Therefore, had the had the curse devoured the earth. The earth is cursed right now, man. Come to California, different parts. United States, the air is fucked up, man. You know, the beaches is all murky. You got to go down to San Diego. You want to enjoy the beach life. You see? Blue water. Or take a trip to go visit the bro in Hawaii <laughs> to get some blue water up in you, man. You see? This thing is deadly serious. But you got these other camps out here crying over bullshit, doing a bunch of bullshit. The Lord ain't dealing with these niggas, man. You want you, you come to Great Mill, so we gonna give you the cold hard facts, man, 100. percent And we you know we dabble into certain things, because we we're, we're up on all the things that's going on, you know. But you want the seriousness and, and the true teachings of the Bible. You gotta come to Great Millstone. Start up with what, what, what our beloved apostles on down, man. All right, they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned, and a few men left, and that's the only thing that's left, man. For the nuclear destruction to happen That's going to be the cleansing agent The revitalization of the earth Is going to happen Under Yahweh, Yahweh Shai And the elect And the 144,000 of course man That's how serious it is And what you're doing And what you stand for brothers And you few sisters that, that listen This ain't no game This is life or death Shalom